Hello and welcome to Steph Into Christmas, my 12 indie brands of Christmas. Um, so this is number three. They're not ranked in that order, it's just number three of my 12. Could have been anywhere. Um, but this is Odin's Eye, a brand I've come to absolutely adore this year. So yes, if you would like to see how I created this look, um, then just keep on watching. Hi guys, so I've primed my eyes, I've done my base. I know I don't usually, but today I felt like it. So my eyes are primed with the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer in the shade 1. I love this. I think this is a really good dupe for the ABH Eye Primer, in my opinion. So I did pick up in the Black Friday sales um, one of the eye brush sets. So this is the Freya one. And these are the brushes, so I'm going to be using those today. So the palette I'm going to be going in with today is the collaboration between Odin's Eye and Annette's Makeup Corner, the Giant Wolves. I love this palette and I just love this colour story. I do have all three from this collection and I have the Norns um, eyeshadow palette. But I wanted to play with this one today. So let me have a see what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to take the larger of the brushes. It doesn't have, does it have a name? Oh, FR1. And I'm going to go in with Azure. And I'm going to be using my handheld mirror because um, the one in the palette is just that bit too small. So, I discovered for myself, tried for the first time and really fell in love with Odin's Eye um, just in 2021. And I have not looked back. These shades are just so beautiful. So I just want a light wash of colour because this is going to be our kind of transition blendy outy shade. I'm trying to do something along the lines of kind of Snow Queen, Ice Queen look. You will have seen the look already. These palettes that are in this um, collaboration with the three different influencers all three of them the quality is amazing i expected not to not like the red dragon but for it to not really be my kind of thing but i loved the look that came out of that i did it in collaboration with marina um and i will i'll link that video either in the cards or in the description box below for if you would like to check that out because the Red Dragon palette was very kindly gifted to me by Marina who is another massive Odin's Eye fan. The shade is just stunning. Um, seriously Poppy? Okay, she's decided she does not want my makeup or anything on the bed except for her and the covers which are now <laughs> a big pile wrapped around a poppy being a poppy dog not a poppy flower i really like this brush for blowing the color out this is doing a fantastic fantastic job I'm bringing it all the way up to the brow just for the kind of look it is that I want to achieve. This, this blue is just divine. Okay, so that's it kind of blended out. So you can imagine just how amazing it is packed on. Right, so are you going to be my next one? Yes. So I am now with the FR2 
um, going into Cosmos. Oh, I'm so excited to be playing with this again. I'm really... I was watching um, Katie, Makeup for Lost Time Katie, and she was talking about, like, was he playing with the, the palettes you already have and how it feels like you review them and then they just get lost in your collection. And I'm feeling that. So I am going to do my best to concentrate as much as I can um, content with the palettes that I already have and love and just get some real use out of them. I was thinking I might start doing, I don't know, just, <laughs> I need to think of some ideas really, don't I? These shades are just, I mean, just look at that. And this brush is another good one. Oh, I'm loving these brushes so far. I'm just taking it just a bit deeper, kind of, in the the crease. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful palette. If you don't own this and you like these kind of shades, I highly recommend you get your hands on it because... It is a dream to work with. This brush is slightly larger than what I would usually use to do this, but do you know what? I'm not mad at it. I'm getting quite a a good result. So I'll go back and blend out with the uh the other brush uh, and then just back in with the first brush i need to remember that i've done my base and be a bit more careful i think because i'm kind of going in a bit gung-ho to be fair though with the look it's not going to be the end of the world if i end up with some flicks of blue around my face Hmm. Okay. Right, I'm just going to pack a bit more of Cosmos. Just tap off stuff. You haven't, you've done your base. I'm just going to pack this just on the outer V there. So I really want that depth here. brush is beautiful so I'm taking the first brush the FR1 and going back into azure the uh, lighter blue and I'm just gonna kind of pat that over my lid all will make sense my lovelies all will make sense soon she says And just making sure I've got my lid kind of coated in this shade. Okay, so now with the FR4, it's kind of flat but fluffy, I am going into Eternal. This one here. I'm going to give it a quick spray, just a, a light one, and then just because it's going over the mat, and then I just want to kind of pat this. It's like a pink and blue, and oh, it's just beautiful. Yeah, I'm just using this to coat over. This shade is just magical. 
as great as a topper shade I have used it just on its own across my lid and I loved that also I think this is a really versatile shade I'm so happy I've got this you can really see the pink shift in it when it's over this blue oh, it's so pretty look at that Sorry if you can hear the snoring. Poppy is now sleeping. And boy, can she snore. Well, both her and Mr. Fluff. Oh, wow. And then dipping into Cosmos, the deeper of the blues, I'm just going to tap that over the edge there, just so that it's not a harsh line. Oh, okay, I am... I'm just living for this look. Right, where are we at next? Lower lash line. Okay, I'm first going to take the brush with Cosmos on and I'm just going to bring that down onto the lower lash line. This is beautiful and then the first brush again and back into the lighter blue at zero and just using that to really buff it out oh, this is looking really good and then I'm ever so slightly I'm gonna use this actually I'm going to with this FR6 go into Annihilation the black just ever such a tiny little bit I uh, just want to kind of just deepen this very very outer edge not going as far as where the uh, shimmer is and I'm going to take it just ever so slightly up against the lash line just on that very outer part there oh my god that looks so pretty this palette you really can do a lot with it is just stunning I need to play with my Annette and Menagerie collab palette okay so I am going to take Astral the shimmer up there and I'm taking that on the what are you called the FR5 and I am going to give that a quick spray because I want to pop this on the inner corner and down under my eye there I wouldn't say this is particularly the ideal brush for this but I just want to use them all because I'm really enjoying them Ooh, okay I'm actually going to take a tiny bit of that and use that as my brow bone highlight Oh, look at that. I cannot tell you enough how much I love this palette. I love all three of them. But 
this kind of has to take it not just because it's Annette but because this colour story is just divine okay that is looking so good right I'm going to quickly do my blush and highlight with you guys because uh, I'm going to be using Odinside products so there's one brush I haven't used just this one and this is the FR3 okay so the blush I'm going to be using is the Alva flower blusher in the shade sweet tulip I hope I'm holding that so you can see um, I've moved my mirror and I'm taking that on an Altitude Cosmetics brush it's the the blush brush and yeah I think this is gonna be the perfect shade and this is really pretty really pretty I do love that they are buildable. It's a beautiful formula. I do love these. Yeah, the Odin's Eye is definitely a brand that I really enjoy. I love their aesthetic. Like their packaging is so beautiful. I mean, even the little blushes. I mean, look at that. The detail in it and the little fairy i'm going to be using the solomon highlighter palette oh my god i love this too i just love everything absolutely everything and the highlighter brush i'm using is from lois cosmetics and i am going in with this one here and i'm so excited this is just the most beautiful it's kind of a purpley bluey pinky highlight I don't know how else to describe it um, but just beautiful absolutely beautiful look at that now if that isn't the perfect highlighter for this look I don't know what is just look at that oh this is just so perfect let's just add a little bit more you never have too much highlighter and i do absolutely adore this one this this highlighter palette is absolutely gorgeous i love it all four shades are just perfect you look at look at that you can't argue with that can you right i'm gonna nip off and do the finishing touches and then i'll come back show you the finished look and yeah have a ch quick chat so guys if you would like to see the finished look then don't go anywhere okay guys so i am back with the finished look let me know what you think in the comment section below i am feeling like a true snow queen i'm loving it um everything i have on my face will be listed in the description box below should you want to check that out um i will just quickly run through a couple of things so the kind of pearly white liner is from altitude cosmetics one of the cake it liners in the shade purify <laughs> but say purity um all oh, the earrings are from lois cosmetics um she popped them in along with my order and i love them i love them so the little dots are from the same cake it liner but then i used kyma cosmetics oblivion these are the little loose flakes i don't know how well you're gonna see them and i've just dotted them all over um, the lashes are from Altitude Cosmetics in the Star Angel 
seemed appropriate um the little snowflakes i don't know if you can see them came in this little set here i got this from sheen and uh yeah very happy with my purchase and the lipstick is from lime crime and it is their matte velveteens in the shade moonstone so this is my snow queen snow fairy look and uh yeah from Odin's Eye, one of my 12 indie brands of Christmas. So yeah guys, if you've liked this video, hit the like button, really helps me out. If you are new around here and you love colourful makeup, if you love supporting indie brands, and maybe you want to discover some indie brands that you haven't heard of before, then please do hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you of my future uploads. So guys I'm totally totally happy with this look and I hope you are too. Thank you so much for joining me today, spending this time with me. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very very soon. Goodbye.